Hello, welcome back to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For our tutorial today, we will be sharing about the model in place component in Revit and the different forms we can create with this tool. But before we start, please don't forget to press like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for our future tutorials. Thank you. Under the Architecture tab, click the Component drop-down button and select the model in place. Then this list of family categories will pop up. From this list, we can select any of them depending on the type of component that we are going to create. But in this case, we will be using the generic models first. Notice that on the ribbon, there are new sets of icons that we can use. There are new sets of tabs also which the Create, Insert, Annotate, View, Manage and so on. But for our tutorial today, we will focus on the Create tab. Let's start with the extrusion. Then we use the Rectangle Draw tool and draw it on the 3D view. On the Properties palette, under the Constraints, we have the Extrusion End and the Extrusion Start which is self-explanatory. On the Extrusion End, we set it to 1000 mm, and click the Finish Edit mode. Notice that the Extrusion has the triangle grips, which we can push or pull to adjust the Extrusion. Let's change to shade it. Next, we will use Blend. We use the Rectangle Draw tool also and draw on the 3D view. Then let's click the Edit Top icon to draw the second profile. Let's use the Polygon and just draw it on the view. On the Properties palette, we have the second end and first end. Let's set the first end to 1000 mm, and then make the second base to 1500, then click the Finish Edit mode. We can also adjust the grips manually. Next, we are going to use Revolve. There's actually a preview of how to use the tool to create the 3D shapes. So for the Revolve, let's just draw a random shape. Then click Finish Edit Mode. Next is Sweep. So we have two choices here, Sketch Path and Pick Path. Let's use the Sketch Path first. Let's draw the line. Let's 
Wait, let's go to our level 1 plan view. Then continue to draw our path. Then finish edit mode. Next, we are going to click the edit profile and draw on the reference plane. Then, click finish edit mode. Let's just move these out from the sweep model. Then we use the swept blend. Notice that there are two sets of reference planes along the path. So on the first profile, we are going to draw a random shape. Then on the second profile, let's draw a circle, then click finish edit mode. Then next is the void forms, which we can use to subtract or create a void from a solid form. The void forms contain five different forms which are the swept blend, sweep, revolve, blend, and the extrusion. We start with the void extrusion, then let's do it on our extruded box. Void form can also be adjusted by using the grips. We're going to pull it to cut through the entire width of the box. Let's do the void sweep. And now we are going to use the pick path. So we are going to pick the edge of our box to create our path. Then we are going to add the profile. Then click Finish Edit Mode. Let's do another void, 
So let's use the void revolve. We are going to add the axis line. Wait. Let's set the work plane and pick a plane. Then let's pick the vertical corner line. Then let's draw the boundary line and draw the shape that we want. Then click the finish edit mode. So those are the forms that we can create when we use model in place. All you need to do is practice and play around the tools to familiarize with all the functions. In our next tutorial, we are going to model something that will be using these methods, so just watch out for our next tutorial. Alright, that's it for now. Hope that you have learned something new about Revit and hope to see you again on our next video. Thank you for watching.